Hey there guys, what is going on? Gay right here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Danmachi Memoria Freeze video. And today we're going back to basics. We're not doing another 20 to 25 minute discussion video. That was fun yesterday. I really enjoyed it by the way. Thank you guys so much for the support you guys showed on the video in terms of like, you know, the comments, the interactions, you know, you guys talking to each other as well. It was super appreciated and I love to see the interaction. So I might make it a weekly thing and I would love for you guys to leave your comments down below on what kind of discussion videos would you like to see in the future? Maybe on, you know, potentially collab ideas or something like that. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to see what you guys have to say in terms of a video idea and I'll get it done as soon as possible but today like I said we're going back to basics we're gonna be doing a guide on what you should be buying from the event shop now more often than not a lot of players would be like oh I can clear the event shop easily but this is more targeted towards the new players and just generally casual players who may not be just doing the event again and again and again and I'll come on to what I mean by again and again and again in a moment of course if you guys go on to enjoy this video hit the like button subscribe to the channel like i said 75 percent of you guys aren't subscribed as you guys can see by the picture on your screens below so be sure to subscribe it would be greatly appreciated and of course comment down below what do you guys usually buy from the event shop i'm curious to see down below now let's go over to the event itself and let's talk about what i mean by again and again and again because the reason why i say that is you have to do the very hard last stage on any event to be able to get as much currency as possible to start clearing the shop in this case you have to do boss 118 on very hard to be able to just try and get as much currency as possible of course the currency amount you get is usually a little bit random it's between a range usually but the best way to get it is by doing boss 118 once you start getting a lot of currency you go to the exchange shop and you start wondering what should i buy well as a new player and even just generally i feel like most players should be prioritizing these things that is the hero medal and flame amulet these two items are imperative because what you get out of them is really really a really good deal in my personal opinion because if you go to the special exchange go to hero medal and flame amulet exchange you get a prism bond adventure and a prism bond assist these are free dupes for any non time limited character so you can chuck them on any character you want you need three of each you get one per tail so usually that means every three events you basically get one of these things basically and that is really good i think that's still really good i know it's a bit slow and it does seem sluggish because three events means usually two two and a half months basically right but in my opinion that's well worth it right i i literally just today exchanged it that's why i got the idea of this video was like oh I actually have the exchange for this let me talk about it uh, and make a video in regards to what you should buy from the shop so in my opinion these two things are invaluable they're so so good and uh, they just come in handy whenever you have like an assist stat plus three and you know that it is being used a lot like for example let's go over to uh, record buster right and let's look at the unit popularity right now I mean the Haruhime the new Haruhime for example if you couldn't get her to uh, plus five on her banner right for example she you could get plus four very easily I think plus three or plus four was the maximum you could get of the guaranteed steps you can literally just use one more prism adventure bond and go and chuck her in there you could use it also for a unit like Ali for example uh, so it's valuable it is really really tremendously valuable and I highly recommend people try and get as many of as they can oh uh, and just try and buy those the first thing literally the first thing they should buy is those things all right the next thing pl uh, players should buy new players particularly hero light and ascension fauna veteran players in my personal opinion should focus on gnome tickets and I'll explain why these are kind of interchangeable hero light is so useful because right now for example i have a stock of 115 which isn't bad but that will probably be what six seven units i don't know the exact math in my head for hero ascension i usually don't really pay too much attention to how much gets used up each time because i i had i before the anniversary i had a stock of like 200 plus after the anniversary it's dipped down tremendously because of how many units came out right but uh it'll go back up over time once i do more tails and stuff like that but it's so handy for new players because there's not no real income otherwise apart from buying it from the iris shop so you would have to pay real money to get other hero light right so if you are a new player this is the thing you want to get as fast as possible and stock up as much as you can because once you start getting plus fours and plus fives 
you want to start putting these hero lights on them thankfully it's only applicable to adventures you don't have to put hero light on assist there are there is no hero ascension on assist so that's good but for adventures you want to try and stock this up as much as possible on the other hand gnome tickets are immensely valuable because if we go over to the shop right let's go over to the special exchange again the gnome ticket exchange you have these four exchange items the first two being useless do not use those even if you are a new player they are not worth it at all you want the starbond adventure and starbond assist these are the time limited equivalent of prism bonds basically so you can use these bonds for time limited units exclusively and honestly it's well worth it especially if you're stocking up for like say anniversary because in all honesty last year i was at zero from the fourth anniversary and when i hit the fifth anniversary i was at 7500 that is seven adventure star bonds or basically four to five assist star bonds insane right insane value and i highly recommend saving up for those big events basically collaborations or anniversary units because anniversary units we've seen how strong they can be and collaboration units are so limited and so rare right so it's well worth it to get those up to plus five if they're near to plus five like if they're plus three or plus four well worth it and that's another thing to know the only times you should use prism bonds or star bonds is only if your unit is at plus three or plus four primarily don't try and go from plus zero to plus five unless they are just straight up insane units right that's the only thing i would keep in mind when you're you know exchanging for these star bonds and prism bonds basically so gnome tickets is there ascension fauna i didn't mention when i spoke about hero light but that's because i feel like ascension fauna is it's just so easily obtainable i'm at 780 and i've never felt like oh i'm down on ascension fauna obviously you can buy it just to keep stock of course but i think this is one of the things that's lower on people's radars right all right let's talk about the next item on this list um that you should be getting and as a new player i would probably say focus on the smelting stones and whetstones because you're going to be working on your gear primarily next you're going to be working on trying to get your armor weapons up a lot so you're going to want a lot of these smelting stones and whetstones to start you know uncapping and ascending your gear and whatnot so the these items would be the next thing i get now as a new player i would probably focus next on getting the tickets just off the off chance you could get a four star right that would be the next thing i would focus on to be honest so try and get the two star guarantee tickets but if you're a veteran player you're probably going to get fate stones now fate stones is only for those in guilds slash familias you're going to be using these fate stones to level up your familiar basically they're not there for anything else so if you're not in a familiar you can kind of ignore these but they're there to be useful and handy for those in familiar. So if you're in a familiar, get them. They're very, very good because you want to try and level up your familiar as much as possible so that you can start, uh, you know, investing into skill uh, and uh, skill upgrades and stuff like that for your familiar. So during familiar events, you're able to get much higher scores as a result of that. Now, the one thing I uh, missed out on entirely are these event unit tickets. And I miss them out for a particular reason because they're so here or there i think for a lot of players they're actually somewhat decent i know a lot of players are like eh, but they give you only free to play units and what do i mean by that so event unit tickets basically if you go to the shop right let's go over here to the special exchange let's go over down to event unit exchange they will give you all the old free to play units you could obtain from events so stuff like clown argonaut from the second anniversary uh producer hermes from the pop star event stuff like that it's really really handy and you can get a lot of decent units like this i would say for a free-to-play player or a new player honestly it's not a bad thing or not a bad idea to start investing into getting some of the newer four stars because they can help you out tremendously while you're trying to get through the early stages of the game it's very very handy it's also amazing for collectors you can pick up like like one two of uh, two two units basically i was gonna say two of each but that doesn't make any sense that that's not uh, right at all you can get two units of your choice and start building up the collector's box you're making basically right especially if you missed out on older events right you might have missed out on year one when three stars were the free to play units which was insane at the time i mean it was crazy they were valueless pretty much for the most part i would say but effectively they're valuable in terms of like they're a collector's item 
But for the most part, if you are a veteran player, you've had these units, you've played the game for five years, you're gonna be just using those event unit exchange tickets to basically get those units and then sell them off again for Dulb or something, basically, you know? So it's not really valuable for most players, but yeah, I would say most players sh should try and just avoid uh, event unit exchange tickets for the most part. You wanna focus on the other stuff. Those are priority in my opinion. Outside of that, of course, you got Falna and stuff like that, but they're unlimited, so those should be the last things you get, pretty much. Um, but your focus should be on those items, like I said. So, primarily, Hero Metal Flame Amulet, then Hero Light and Gnome Tickets, then Ascension Falna. Then you want to get your craftable items, so Smelting Stones and Whetstones, then your 2-star Guaranteed Tickets, then Fate Stones, and then Event Unit Exchange Tickets. Now, let's go over to the Gacha. Now, the Gacha is very simple. You get gacha medals for doing runs again and again and again and then you just draw it's basically like doing a gacha it's literally in the name right but the funny thing is a lot of players don't know this but on default if i'm not mistaken it's set to times 10 so you only do 10 draws per attempt that's not the smartest way to do it in my opinion you should start off with 50 times so you do 50 draws because the rate of getting a three star guaranteed ticket at this point is 2.5 so if i were to do draw right now I didn't get it there, which is really unlucky, but usually you're meant to get it because the rate is so high of getting those three-star tickets, and I still didn't get it. That's insane. That is probably the worst luck I've ever had on video or just generally. That is insane. Usually you should get it within the first times 50, but then from there on you should do times 100. It makes it much faster, especially if you're farming a lot and getting those metal, uh, gacha medals a lot. It just comes in handy tremendously. Of course, I have to still start uh, farming, so there's still a ways to go but that is something i highly recommend doing now i know a lot of players are like i don't want to just keep play pressing play again and again and again and don't worry i have a video coming out tomorrow for that so be on the lookout for it trust me it's a very handy video you shouldn't get into any trouble for it or anything of that sort i use it consistently and um it's a great, great way of just being able to rinse and repeat a stage if you're, you know, if you don't have the time to do it personally, you know, keep clicking play again and again and again. That's an issue, right? Also, if you do want to also do it another way, you could just use a lot of your skip tickets. Like I have 145 skip tickets. I will probably use that just to make my life a little bit easier as well for this event particularly. But I will show you guys a way to do it much, much faster tomorrow. Of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, I think that's all I need to talk about the events and the exchange shop. Um, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. Like I said, ideas you want to see for discussion videos, I would be down to do on any and everything. I have some ideas, but I want to see what you guys have to say down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. I appreciate all of y'all for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody.